Hey everybody, this is Flavio Romeo, and on this episode of the Towncast, we had the chance to catch up with Dustin Scully, uh, a, a local high school, Hawthorne High School graduate, and uh, he has partnered up with Ricky Wood, and they started Mr. Wood's Safe Space with, of course, the special guest, Grumbelow. Uh, so he's going to talk all about that and uh, a, lot of, a lot of what's happened over the past couple years since last time we met. All right, enjoy the episode, everybody. All right, everybody. I'm really excited because if you guys had heard the uh, the original podcast that we started was audio only, and then we switched over to video. And one of our guests a couple of years ago now, right? About two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> two years ago, we interviewed Dustin Scully, uh, Hawthorne High School graduate, local boy in uh, in Jersey, and you know he he filled us all in on on what he was doing and what uh, his production company. So I'm glad that we we're able to update it. And then we have Ricky Wood. Uh, who was partnered up with uh, with us, and we're going to talk to him in a little bit. But first, I want to talk to you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And thank Thanks. you for coming. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was two years ago. Yeah. All right. And you, you wow. we, were, we were looking at some of the uh, YouTube shorts, some of the things that you were doing with Forza Crowd. So tell you, tell us a little bit more about what you've been doing since then. So I think so. By the time we talked, you know, we were still doing monthly Forza Crowd shorts, and. Around that year, we kind of, like, we didn't set the goal to take a break, but we kind of s stood back and took a little bit of a break. We uh, we were doing The Groove, which was like a variety show. Yeah, I love that. And and listen, stuff. if you guys haven't seen any of his stuff, it's Forza Crowd on, on YouTube, right? Yeah. Forza it's F-O-U-R, Forza Crowd on yeah, YouTube. No. Check it out. They're, they're good. I thought they were great. Thank you, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it was just kind of hard to keep... A series going, you know, especially with the budget that we had to get all these other artists involved, yeah. which we kind of find out, found out about five episodes in. Um, so I took a bit of a break, just started auditioning for things, and then from there, now auditioning as an actor, as a um, well, kind of a little bit. Yeah, I was well. The plan was to audition as an actor. Okay, you know, get my headshots and all that kind of stuff. And before I really even got too deep into that, there were auditions for Sesame Street the Musical off Broadway. How fun! Which yeah, it was it was great. So I uh, auditioned. I I got the part. Were you a puppeteer? I was I was an ensemble member technically, is what I'm allowed to say. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> you didn't see me in the show. So <laughs> there you go. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So because it was a live puppet show, it was one of the first times that there has been like, cool. a live show with Muppets on stage. Yeah, yeah. So it was really exciting to be a part of that history. So I did that twice actually. There was How was that? It. it was incredible. It was like dream come true. Just even even just seeing the kids. Oh, yeah. Completely just absorbing everything you guys are doing oh my goodness yeah and they were so into it more so than I thought because the show also was such like a greatest hits of Sesame Street kind of show all the songs in it I was shocked like my dad knew all these songs yeah they had songs of course from the 70s absolutely in I still have records from that yeah oh yeah well, which one do you I have I have uh... <sighs> I'm trying to think now I may be, you know what, I may be confusing it with, was it, was Scholastic Rock, was that part oh, yeah. of? Like Schoolhouse Rock? And yeah, Schoolhouse Rock. Stuff? Yeah, yeah, so oh, I right. have one of those as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, I have, I mean, I just grew up Conjunction, Junction, Junction, oh, Conjunction, Junction, Junction, Figure Eight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three, it's a magic number. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we were doing, we did that for a little bit. And then just kind of like each thing was like another domino hitting the next thing. After that, I did um, a puppet film with a friend of mine that I met at Sesame Street. And that was like a mix of all my worlds. I got to do some filmmaking stuff. Nice. We got to do some acting and puppeteering and all that. And then is, that, after, is that available? Can we see that anywhere? It's not available yet, but it's on... You can find like clips of it and stuff about it on um, Brother Earth, the Brother Earth Collaborative dot com. All right. So and send me yeah, send me yeah, the link. I'll, I'll put the link, link under here 
and you guys can click it. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing up until joining forces with this guy. Um, yeah, so how did you, how did you guys meet? <laughs> oh, how did we meet? I, I started working at FAO Schwartz last November during the holiday season. Um, and then he was doing Sesame at the time, so I didn't meet him right away, but there were rumblings around the store that there's this guy that works here that you get along with really well <laughs> to meet him. Um, so eventually he came back from Sesame and was working at FAO again. Um, and his roommate was like, Hey, my roommate Dustin's downstairs. You got to go talk to him. He loves, he's going to love your entire like weird guy shtick. <laughs> so, what weird guy shit? Oh, so I'm a really, I'm a really big Andy Kaufman fan. Okay, I'm probably, I, the, I'm I, probably the biggest Andy Kaufman fan in the world. Nice. Um, but so Colin's like, Dustin loves Andy Kaufman as well. You should go talk to him. So I was like, oh, if Dustin's a huge Andy Kaufman fan, I'm just gonna be weird, and he's gonna, he's gonna love it. So then <laughs> I went, I went downstairs to talk to him, and I was just kind of off putting. I was like, hey. And Dustin was like, hi. And I was like, your roommate says that we look alike. And then Dustin was like, okay. And I, was, <laughs> I walked away from that interaction. We're like, weird guy. Yeah. <laughs> I walked away from that interaction like, no, that didn't get it at all. Was <laughs> that like a huge, was, was his roommate pulling my leg? But then eventually um, we worked at the store for a while and we just ended up having to talk anyway. So what was your first take when he first approached you like that? So I wasn't told that he was into Andy Kaufman stuff. So uh, when he came up to me and right, said, hi, thought, we look is, alike. Yeah. Great. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the time. <laughs> time for my break. Um, and then after that, I was told, oh, there's this guy, Ricky. He's got these glasses, and he does these Andy Kaufman things. And then I realized, oh, that was hysterical what he just did. <laughs> <laughs> Then it clicked in. Yeah, then it clicked. That's great. So then, yeah, so then we started work, talking to work. Um, I saw him do a show. I went to yeah. your half hour set. Yeah. Open so you do, do, you do it, you stand up as well? Uh, a little Andy Stand up, yeah. I don't really tell jokes at all, but I'm a really big, I'm a performance artist in the sense where like, I'll go to open mics and I'll do bits that aren't really funny. I just try to agitate the audience or embarrass people or, or like I'll... The like Andy Kaufman did. Like Andy Kaufman did. Yeah. yeah. So like, go up there and, and re read King Lear. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I read, yeah. At the first at the show he saw, the first act I did was I tried playing the ukulele, but I wasn't very good at it. So they would laugh at me, and I would get progressively angrier until I broke the ukulele and flipped out at the audience. And the host came up and was like, "You're ruining the show. Stop acting like that." <laughs> and I was the only one laughing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so I do other things like that. I, 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 um, I use my Instagram to like make like little pranks or hoaxes. This All one, right. What's your Instagram page? Uh, Ricky Wood. Okay, cool. Ricky That's, Wood. Okay, cool. I'll yeah. put it right under here. <laughs> um, the last thing I did was I changed my Instagram account to look like the Hollywood Reporter. And I said that um, beloved actor Jacob Lordy had died in a car crash. Um, and I posted that news story on my Instagram and people were like, freaking out and telling <laughs> Oh my god. Um, and then I changed it back to my account and I uploaded an apology video saying like, oh, I'm being sued by Jacob Elordi's publicist team and The Hollywood Reporter for producing false information. Which was also not true. Not true. <laughs> and then the last thing I did was I convinced my newspaper from my hometown, I'm from upstate, the newspaper uptown did a piece on me about being born on a leap day. When my birthday is actually March fifth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Ricky Wood. Okay, okay, cool. Ricky Wood. Okay, the letters. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. check them out. Yeah. And then you know, I, I want to tell you, I loved when you were doing those shorts. Uh, I don't know if anybody's listening. Oh. <laughs> I love that whole thing. Is, is that posted on your Instagram as well? Yeah, those are on my Instagram. Oh. Yeah. All right, so what's, like, what's your what's your uh, your handle on Instagram? My handle is just Dustin Scully. Okay. S K U L L Y. S C U. Like. Uh, yeah. S C U L L Y. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I love those. Those are so Thank great. You. Are you yeah. continuing to do those? I haven't done them in a while. Keep doing I, them. I got to. You know, and it's. I didn't expect those to be. 
you know, the hit that they were. Because I was doing those, a lot of people do these videos when they say, I don't know who needs to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> and they right, try right. to give you like this life advice. And, no, and you know what? No one needs to hear that. No one needs to hear it, especially because if you add it all up, it ends up, if you were to do all of these things, it's horrible advice. It'd be things like, call out of work today, or you don't need to. Right. And take care of you. So, yeah. So like, and if you are now, it's good if you're doing that once in a while, right? right. But if I were to take this guy's advice every single day, you know, I'd be out of a job. I would, yeah, I would live like I die tomorrow, and I'd probably die tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I was doing those, and I was trying to make them as chaotic as possible. Oh, yeah, it's so hard to keep them up because when, when you start up here, you know, it's where do you go from from as chaotic as possible? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. You check them out. It's Dustin Scully with a C uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, I thought those were I thought those were clever. <laughs> Thank you. So Thanks. now tell me, what are you guys working on now? What's what's you're collaborating? You're doing projects together? Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Yeah. You want to start? Sure. Out? Yeah. So um, I in my talking with Dustin, I found out that he's a puppeteer and works with puppets, and I, I've always been fascinated by puppetry, even though I don't do it, but I've always grew up with Sesame Street and puppetry. love puppets and stuff, yeah. And then so, um, one day, I was watching the Won't You Be My Neighbor documentary on Netflix about yeah, yeah. Mr. Rogers, sure. and as I was watching it, I was like, this show is so surreal, it's so strange. There's like this specific moment where Daniel Tiger is talking to this interviewer, and the interviewer is talking to this little tiger, like this worn down tiger puppet. <laughs> yeah. and, it looks like a puppet he had when yeah. he was two years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I don't know, like he's taking it so genuinely, and the puppet says something way out of left field, like, there's something inside of you that hasn't been lost yet, your childhood. And the guy's just like looking at the puppet, kind of like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, this is so weird. Um, so then, I was like, I want to do a children's surrealist puppet show in the right. fame of like Mr. Rogers or Pee Wee's Playhouse. But well, did you ever did you ever watch Uncle Floyd? No, it's Uncle Floyd. You, do you know? No, Floyd? I don't know Uncle Floyd. <gasps> Dude, what? I, <laughs> clearly, you don't follow the Towncast because so he was he had a show on for about thirty years. It was it started on public access, and it was it was a variety show like mm -hmm. a sketch show. And he had his little puppet Obi, and uh, it was it was supposed to be a kids show. It was not a kids show oh. at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, it started I think in early seventy one, seventy two, ran until ninety nine, and now he still does shows in yeah. the tri state area. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. We had we had him. He did a show at uh, at Shortways. Oh, us. okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I did see a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I inter I interviewed him there, and uh, yeah. So it's. And I missed that kind of. You should you definitely check it out. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. Check that yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely check it out. It was it was a huge hit. Everybody knows him from from the air, you know, from the tri-state area. Oh, great! And he's one of the last vaudeville type performers. Oh, right? good. He, I think he said there's like three left. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's well, now there's two more. more. Yeah, now there's yeah. two more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right, so tell me more. Tell me so, more. So, um, so then I was like, man, if only I knew someone who had the same sense of humor as me and works with puppets. Hmm. Yeah, and so then I just gave up on that idea. <laughs> um, no, I texted Dustin immediately, and I was like, I have this idea for this show that's kind of like Mr. Rogers, Uncle Andy's Fun House, which was like the kid's show Andy did when he was in college. Um, where it's like a kid's show where things are just kind of, like a kid could watch it, but it's just kind of weird. Because one right. of the things Mr. Rogers talked about in the video was like he loves parodies of himself, but as long as it's not like... The joke isn't that it's vulgar, you know? Yeah. The joke isn't that it's mean-spirited. The yeah, joke yeah. is that it's like, oh, it's just like a joke about it. So I was like, um, I want to do a kid's show, or like a surrealist kid's show with puppets that is just, things are just weird. Like a kid could watch it if like they wanted Pee -wee's, to. Pee -wee's yeah, Playhouse. Like Pee-wee's Playhouse. Which yeah. he had, which is like, you know, he's 100% Andy Kaufman. I was raised on Pee-wee. He had never seen any Pee-wee. Yeah. Wow. And when he came to this me, it was, it was total true. destiny. <laughs> and I was like, well, oh, I don't know, if you know, I've been waiting to do this my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, because it, it, it started with us just watching, I was like, we just have to watch some Pee Wee's Playhouse so you kind of know where you my go, head is at. right there? I was, I was enthralled. <laughs> How did I miss this so much? Did you go back and beat up your parents? No. <laughs> I should have. 
He lent me his. He has like Pee Wee's Playhouse entire series on DVD. He lends it to nice. me and I watch. Yeah. Most oh of yeah, it. I have all the Pee Wee stuff. Yeah. Um, and so I texted him immediately, and I was like, "We got to do this." And he was like, "You have no idea that this is my life's calling." Um, <laughs> and so from there on, like we met, we discussed the outline of the show, we started working on the script, and as every time we work on the script or anytime we work on it in general, we're just like, "Man, we're." We're really clicking here. Like, there's something yeah. really good here. <laughs> it's like freakishly too easy, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We cut every. It's like all the ideas were already there, especially when we were coming up with the outline of the show. It just fell together in like two days. We pretty much knew everything that was going to happen in the show. Nice. We, all our friends that want to work on it with us, are perfect for the project. So it's really just been. Yeah, it's, it's been serendipitous for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about the show. So, what's the name of the show? Oh, the show, right. Doing this. Right there. <laughs> Mr. Wood's Safe Space is the name of the show. So I'm Mr. Wood. Um, and the show is that, the idea is that it's a kid's show. Mr. Wood's a, a kid's educator, educator, child's entertainment star. He's had this show for a while, but it's starting to get picked up by, um, like, like a TV, he's trying to get it pitched to a TV studio. Um, so he has his regular cast of characters. Um, there's one named Coolidge, who's a little wacky, and there's a few other characters, and there's some humans in there, but for every segment, the show kind of derails more and more. Um, How <laughs> so? Uh, and you don't want to give too much away, yeah. you're going to have to check it out. Avenue. Yeah. Grumbolo. Oh, that's your co-host? Like your co-host? Yes. Kind of? Okay. It's Mr. Wood and Grumbolo together. Um, if Dustin would like to talk about Grumbelow at all. Yeah. I yeah tell us a little bit about Grumbelow. So Grumbelow. I mean, I kind of get the impression just from the stuff. name. Yeah. Hence <laughs> the Grumble. He's, he's a, uh, yeah, he's like, uh, well, he's, he's a character from the For the Crowd stuff that we were doing. Um, he's this washed up, used to be on kids TV celebrity, I love it. you know, Muppet type puppet character. Um, and, you know, kind of like what he was saying, like, I've never been, like, really a fan of, like, just foul mouth angry puppets, you know, but yeah. there's something about Grumbelow that, that seems to work, because I think, and, like, we kind of explore this with this show, a lot of people just think he's, like, kind of a jerk, you know, whatever, he says bad words, this and that, but he really is good at heart. He's, like, a, a misunderstood Archie Bunker kind of guy, okay. where he just wants to do kids' entertainment. He wants to entertain kids, He's just so bad at it. <laughs> All right, now, uh, that was an incredible. Christopher, your turn. Let's see your amazing picture. Let's show it to the camera. Come on, don't be shy. We're all friends here. Come on, come on, come on. Show it to the... What? What? You don't, you don't like it? Christopher, are you smelling burning toast? No, I uh, just need toast. No, I'm asking you if you're having a stroke. Yeah. That is not me. You know, I like reject it. your drawing. You, you don't like it? No, I don't like it. It's bad. I don't like bad things. I, I tried to make it for you. Uh, but it, it looks like you. All right, no, listen, I'll take it. And he just wants to do the right thing, and that's kind of one of the underlying things in our show is that is uh, one of the big themes of of the shows that we're doing the fear episode and there's all these different kinds of things like mr wood won't um admit that he has any fears grumble won't admit that he has any fears <laughs> but one of grumble's fears is that he just wants to you know entertain the children and be adored by the children it's just not great he's got no feet but he keeps on putting them in his mouth <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, is he? I mean, is he here? Are we gonna get a chance to see Grumble? Oh yeah, um, I'll I'll go. Uh, I think he's busy. Yeah, he's, he's, busy. he's getting his unibrow plucked, but yeah. we can go. We we'll get him ready. We'll, we'll, we'll I know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can people see some of these episodes now? So yeah, well, we're on Instagram now. Yeah. So where, the, the Mr. Wood Safe Space is a live show, so we're working on it as a live show. Gotcha. Um, okay. And then. Ideally, one day we'll be picked up for a TV show. But yes. the idea of the show is that it's be recorded for TV, but it's currently just a live 
show. All right, that, so, that kind of is what like what makes it more fun for the audience that you know absolutely you know get you to applaud and all that kind of stuff. But we also make you think that we're shooting so we can shush you if you're being too loud. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's kind of like kind of like if you were sitting in on a recording of like Mr. Rogers Neighborhood or something like that. But this is the first time it's being done, so there's going to be some bumps in the road, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But that's, we've been doing some live performances here and there. Yeah. Uh, and do you have clips of those that people could see? Yeah, we yes. post those on our Instagram as well. Oh, I, I'm respecting uh, Instagram. Too. So we, have, is there one, okay. we have a Mr. Woods Safe Space Instagram. It's okay. Mr. Woods Safe Space. Mr. Um, Woods. Yes. Okay. No Mr. posture. No posture. Yeah. Mr. Woods Space Safe. <laughs> safe, Space Safe. <laughs> Mr. Woods Safe Space on Instagram, and you can check out clips of what you guys are doing. Yeah. Do you guys have other live shows coming up? We, we do. do. We do. On March 25th, um, we are doing, there's this uh, Estia variety show where they have a bunch of different creatives. There's dance, poetry, spoken word, uh, music, comedy, comedy um, and we're actually the closing act that night. Nice. Where's that? It's at the Fiction Bar Cafe in Brooklyn. All right. Fiction Bar Cafe in Brooklyn. That's March 25th. Yep. All right. We'll put the little link under here. Cool. Yeah. So people come check you out. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah thanks. Do you, have other, do you have other shows after that? Nothing lined up yet, but I mean, we're, we're kind of taking it one, one show at a time yeah, so we yeah. can see what we want to tweak and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, nice. um, this is going to be kind of like a mix of the past two sets that we did. Uh, but yeah. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, if we get a chance to... Say hi to Grumble. Oh, yeah. His well, unibrow is open. Go done. get him. Yeah, I'll go check, check it out. All right, they're going to check it out. Thank you guys so much for coming. Of it's course. really appreciate it. Us. And now, uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to talk to Grumble. All right, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody, so here comes Grumble. We're going to actually get a chance yeah. to meet Grumble. Oh, great. Can't wait to. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Hi. Hey, cool. This is Coolidge. This is who I'm telling you Hello. about. Hello. What happened to Grumble? Where's Grumble? Oh, well, he's getting ready. I thought I'd come and say hi. Nobody, I don't remember it. inviting you. Well, you're talking about Mr. Wood's safe space. I am talking and about... And I'm in Mr. Wood's safe space. You are in Mr. Hi, Wood's Coolidge. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, this too, Coolidge. Cool. A pleasure. So tell me about safe space. You like it? Oh, it's a wonderful place. You should really come over sometime. What makes it so safe? Oh, well, um... Grumble? No, no, he does not make it very <laughs> no, safe, I don't no, think so. No, we can so. agree on that, actually. Um... Well, it's you a pl- wanted to be on the show. You can tell him. Well, we have a wonderful junkyard for the kids to go playing in. Oh my junkyard! Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a wonderful. There's a slide, a rusty slide. It's just a piece of metal. It's oh, not really a slide. You shouldn't oh. be telling kids to go play on that. But it's so much fun. It's good to adventure, children. That doesn't sound like a very safe space. Across the street from the junkyard, we have an actual playground where children can play. Oh, okay. So that's that's the safe. That's space. the safe. Space. That's, the safe space. that's the safe space. We got a lot of nice neighbors. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, and Coolidge is not one of them. I'm one of them. He is not one of them. No, he's, why? Coolidge what? is actually quite annoying. I couldn't tell. Oh, yeah, no. You are the bane of my existence. Oh, I love Batman. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. uh, I, Maybe I could sing my song. No, 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 no. no. We're not singing that song. We don't have any hey. music prepared for it. Oh, we, no, oh. you, I don't know who told you to come here. I don't know how you found out about this. And that's two, kids. <laughs> and three for three please go away oh well, all right i'll check on grumbalo how yeah, about that that's very sweet yeah <laughs> if you can find out yeah all come right out. oh grumbalo i'm sorry about that <laughs> well how come you and coolidge don't get along i don't want to get into it because it's like it's like a long-standing kind of beef but he's he's not a very pleasant person to be around Really? Yeah. I mean, he so he seemed nice, and he had a song. It's like a fake nice, though. Oh, uh, uh, you know? all right. It's like a fake. The camera's on. Oh, he's so nice. he's on. Yeah. Ah, okay. Is it like that during the show too? Like I hope I. He's not a part of the show. Oh, uh, he. Uh, he wants to. Be. He wants to be a part of the show. I would never invite him. He comes. Oh, look hey. who's here to show up. Ah, hey there. Hello, very oh, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Flavio. Yeah, and Romeo. you know my name. Yes, I do. They, yeah, they briefed me before I came. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So, so tell me about this new show. Yeah, well, it's great to be back in children's entertainment. Yeah, yeah, it's great having you. I'm actually really happy that you decided to jump on for this. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I still have a fan. That's this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, you have two fans now, and oh, maybe three or oh, four. Man. Oh, I would love three or four. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So tell me, tell me about the. Uh, the show. 
Well, it's a, it's a fun little time. You know, we sing songs, play games, eat food. We don't eat food as much. Oh, Not on stage, um, at least. Sorry. We have catering in the back, but we can't actually uh, eat during the show. You're right. Yeah, there's bugs in the theater. There's no, there's no bugs. There's bugs. Theater. There are no bugs in the there theater. There are no bugs because it won't let me bring food. <laughs> I, I don't get it. <laughs> so so what, what, what do you love most about I know you've been doing kids educational programming yeah. for a long long time mm -hmm. what is it about this show in particular that you love well the fact that they'll hire me that's, and, a, that's, uh, that's a good thing uh, I, I've been uh, trying I've been trying to do more kids stuff I was doing that for the crowd stuff for I was, I was speaking of which uh, what, what kind of rating you got on here what, what am I allowed to say on here? Uh, this is you know it's it's PG 13 plus oh okay good good that's what I'm talking about <laughs> Yes. Oh, know. hey, okay. Just okay, because you sorry. can doesn't mean you should. All right. Be a little more respectful of the story. And I try to keep it like in context of what we're talking. Oh, okay. About. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, I've been working my ass. Off. Oh, okay. There you yeah, go. Sorry. All right. Go. Yeah. I can see you don't have one anymore. No. No. I, I don't. <laughs> Uh, I'm working on that. I'm trying to get a little work done. So, uh, do you love working in front of a live audience? Yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. live stuff now. Yeah, it, it's much better. Well, I, there used to be live audiences when I used to do Appleseed Avenue, oh. um, but they were all kids, so they were a little, they were a little sissy Mary sometimes. Uh, don't call kids sissy so, Mary. Uh, nice to the children. Oh, sorry, sorry, kids, sorry. Uh, pansies is a little. <laughs> oh bit, my. Maybe. I'm That's sorry. What'd you say? Uh, what was it? Pan yeah. yeah. Um, I can understand that. Yeah. What else? Uh, yeah, we get a uh, audience of all ages now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And do you like interacting with the audience? I, uh, I, yeah, I like interacting with them. I don't like them interacting with me. If you know what I mean. Uh, I get what you're saying. When you yeah. have a character such as Grumbler, you do get a, quite a few hecklers. Right. Uh, uh, but Grumbler's done a very good job of shutting them down. I have. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's twice still on the show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. can. There, there is a Mister Wood safe space without a grumble, you know. Uh, there is or there isn't. There was. Oh. Yeah, but he can't do it without me now, right? I guess not. Without you, no. not special contractually. I can't. Feature no. guest. <laughs> Good to have under contract. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you love most about the safe space, Grumble? Oh. The girls. I mean, the women. What women? <laughs> what women? Well, we got some. I guess you're right. Yeah. The caterers? Were they the caterers? Uh, no, 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 no. The hair I mean, and makeup. They're nice, too. <laughs> uh, um, hair and makeup? Hair and makeup. We nice. Well, they do a great job. Oh, why, thank you. Yeah, nice. this is all dyed. I'm completely gray now. <laughs> <laughs> It looks good. Really you look job. good. It looks I know, good on you. you. They just take a paintbrush, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great look. Man. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, so I know you've got a show coming up in Brooklyn. Yep, yep. Right. Let's talk about that again. Where is it? It's at Fiction Bar Cafe. Now you grill. You're, you're old enough to go to a bar, right? Oh, well, sure. I am way past old enough, my friend. All right. All yeah, right. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and you'll be there on March 25th. March 25th. Five days after spring starts. And, and are you going to uh, have like photo opportunities at the end of the show if some of the people watching want to take pictures with you? Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. Usually, Grumbelow tends to go back into his box at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, they put me in the box. You I, I am not allowed to not speak scripted lines. Speaking of which, I had this dream. No, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're going to say. However... Please, whatever your dream is, I don't think we want to hear it. Oh, all right. So maybe we, maybe you could tell us off camera. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Grumble. Yes. Did thank you want to you. try to go back and get Dustin back out to say goodbye? Yes. Well, well, I have a little something special prepared for your oh, show. Oh, you do. Actually. You do. But I forgot one of my props. I have to set it up. Um. Okay. Well, I, I was figuring we could like do like some kind of watercolor painting with the yeah, kids. Yeah, but I something. forgot my prop. I have to set it up. What prop? I Did forgot you? one of my props. Okay, go set it up. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go set up my prop. All right, and, and then and then we'll set we'll, we'll do a little thing for you. You got it. I'll be ready. Right. I'll right. be ready. All right, he's gonna go get his props. Okay, my neighbor. So, all right, I'm almost ready. Oh, all right, Grumble. Whenever you're, you're ready. ready for me, because I'm almost ready. Whenever you're ready, I'm running out of things to talk about with Mr. Wood. <laughs> Ask him his favorite color. That's what? a great story. Tell him your your favorite color. Story. What's your favorite color? I have teal. Teal. I love that story. <laughs> That's it. 
That's love, a compelling story. Yeah, I love the color teal. I don't know. That's, yeah. I don't know what he was talking about. You have a history with teal or? Uh, yeah, when I was a boy, I liked it. That's fascinating. That's a good story. Thanks. That's That was a good story, Grumbelow. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any other stories that are as compelling as that one? Yes, I do. All right, what do you got? All right, oh, well, let me go get it. I got, I got a storybook. What do you think about a storybook, Mister Wood? I uh, actually, storybook would be actually probably. I think that's a really good medium to do for a podcast. All right, good, because I got this little number right here. Oh, okay, Jesus. it's a no, little no, 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 uh, no, no, water no, no, book no, no, about no, swimsuits no, that my friend this. wrote. We're not your friend wrote this. Yeah, Megan. No, she didn't write it. We're not reading <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, wait, we're no, I got a better book. We're not okay, reading. I, I have a better kind of book. books you're bringing. We're not I'm reading. I'm sorry, no. That, I, I, that do, I do funny. like the Sports Illustrated storybook. Me too. Right? Don't yeah. Me, I, I don't, uh, well, all right, I, what about this one? I have the Deep Blue Sea. Oh. I hold it up a little, little higher. For the, book. Here, you hold it up. Yeah, okay, I'll hold it up. This is actually kind of nice. Isn't that nice? It's a cute one. Can we read it? What do you say? What do you say? Yeah, sure. All right, don't read it yet, though. Okay, sorry. Okay, no, no. Because the book comes with a little record. Look at this. So we don't gotta read it. We just listen to it. Oh, remember these? Yeah, that's... All right. Grumble, that's so cool. All right, thank you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll put this on the record player. Okay, good, good, um, good. Here, I'll do yeah. it. I'll do it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. It happens to go. be right here. Oh, perfect. It's perfectly off camera. Yeah. It's, it's there, we yeah, promise. Sure. All, All right. right, here it goes. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me get to the first page. The Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, I grew up with this one. It's good. The waters of the sea stay in place thanks to the flat surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. Some think the earth is round, but if that were true, then all the water of the sea would roll off the planet like water droplets off an apple. What? Rumble, this is kind of an older book, isn't it? Yeah, I told you I grew up reading this one. Oh, they were yeah. great. Awesome, we're in for a treat. The sea is full of creatures called fish. Fish are strange, slippery things that swim about and breathe water. Okay. Some fish include tuna, flounder, dolphins, sharks, mermaids, and whales. Mm -hmm. Those aren't fish, though. Ah, oh, well, it's an old book. I guess you're right. Whales communicate by calling. Let's listen to the call of the whale. sound a whale makes. Yeah. Oh, yes it is. Okay, that's fine. All right. Yeah, maybe that's how they sound in England. I, you know what? I've never seen an English whale before, so you might be right. Oh, look. It's Christopher Walken with his friends Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood. This is the funny part. They're about to go on a little boat ride. Natalie loves the sea. Sometimes she often dreams what it'd be like if she could live in the ocean for the rest of her days. Let's see what kind of boating tools Christopher has on his boat. Some rope, whale tranquilizers, Christopher a Logan. gun, Natalie, more wait, is this rope, the, is this leather a, gloves. Natalie would die? Yeah, you bet it is. She died in this book? I'm not giving away the ending. Even more rope. Grumble up. No, okay. I'm sorry. Sure. We're not reading this. We we are not listening to how children. Sorry. We're not listening to about how Natalie would. You can't read that to children. That's not okay. Well, I grew up reading it. Look at me. I am looking at you, and you should want better for the children or whoever's watching. You don't you want to be a bit more of like a beacon of light than like a someone who talks about Natalie Wood's death. I'm sorry. Oh, I my. just. I'm sorry, Flavio. I just wanted to read a little book that I that I like. I can't do anything right. Oh my goodness, Grumble, you're inconsolable. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, look, he does this so often. Oh, you so sad. Don't be mad at me. <clears throat> I, Grumble, you you've read that book before. You know it's inappropriate. I forgot. You're being bad. <laughs> You're being bad. Sorry. Aww. Let me make it up to you. Flavio, let me make it up to you. Sure. Let yeah. me make it up to you, Hawthorne. Yeah. 
Okay. Look, I got a better book. It's a more modern book, all right? It's something that the kids will like a lot more. Okay, because cool. it's got colors oh. and water and the no, beach. We're not reading that, oh. Grumbelow. I'm sorry. Grumbelow. For those of you who couldn't see, it was my Sports Illustrated don't, Megan D. Stallion Grumbelow, edition don't 2021. Grumbelow. It was signed. It was signed? By me. Oh, okay. Grumbelow, you've been very naughty. You can buy it at our merch stand. Don't. No, we cannot. You cannot buy it. We do not sell any type of swimsuit illustrations at any of our merch stands. Oh. Why would you tell them that? I don't know. That's blatantly lying. I know. Why? It's what I do. You've been very bad. <sighs> Flavio, it was so nice to have you on the show, and you, you, this well, is- Well, I love being on the show, thank this you. Is how it was came. great, it was great to have you on, Grumblow. Uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll find some other books for you. All right, yeah, well, I don't really read, so I got That's why you need a pictures, <laughs> or a record. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. And uh, listen, make sure, make sure you watch the show. Mr. Woods- Safe space. Yes, on right. Instagram. And in real life. And in real life. Now, are you on Instagram, Grumbelow? Yes, you can follow me at The Real Grumbelow. Not to be confused with all the other Grumbelows? Yeah, all the. Oh, you thank you. hair on you, sorry. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, not to be confused with the other ones, because the right. other ones are the fake ones. I'm the real one. So look for The Real Grumbelow, but definitely check out Mr. Wood's Safe Space. And if you get a chance, March 25th, right? Yep, yep. In Brooklyn. Brooklyn, the bar fiction, the fiction bar cafe. And grill. March 25th. What time does it start? Uh, 7.30. 7.30, thank you. And we are accepting producers, managers, agents, anybody that wants to pay for our show, book us. Nice. Yes. Are you looking for, you looking for, uh, like an agent? You're looking for representation? Yeah, we're looking for all of it. Nice, okay. So yeah. someone comes up and says, I love your show, I want you to come do it at... At my uh, my theater. Yes, we'll give you a credit check and then we'll come do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much, Grumbelow. Thank you, Flavio. Mr. Wood, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. And uh, and please say thank you to Dustin when he comes back. I will. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> He's down there. <laughs> All right, make sure you check him out. Mr. Wood's Safe Space. Check out Grumbelow. Dustin Scully with a C. Ricky Wood. On Insta, both on Instagram, and and if you get a chance to go see their shows, check it out. And if you got some deep pockets and you want to produce their show, or you want to have them come over and do a nice live birthday party, you guys do that. Would you do that, Grumbelo? Like an adult birthday party? An adult birthday party? No, it's not. What I, you're I, I don't it's not know what you're if thinking. they want me making any jokes about the guest of honor. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I used to do that, and then I was told I couldn't in the state of Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> Rumble has some areas he's not allowed to be around anymore. Well, fortunately, you're in the New York tri state area. It's a good <laughs> yeah. area for you. It's, it's a good area to be in. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks again, Grumble. Thank you. Ricky, thank you again. Thank you, Flavio. All right. And thank you, Dustin. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. All right. Be well, everybody.